is slightly less. Uh, but having said that, I, I would say that uh, there is an improvement in the business because the raw material prices have been going up. So HUL could be gaining market share in the fabric care business. So that's a distinct possibility that we see in this uh, happening uh, right now and probably in the forthcoming quarters. Okay. And also we're joined by Abnish Roy from Edelweiss as well. Uh, Abnish, uh, what are you making of the numbers of HUL? Uh, you know, uh, they seem uh, surely slight bit better than what uh, everyone was expecting. So, what is your take on it? So, so we remain quite positive on uh, Hindustan Unilever. Uh, as confined living is coming to an end, uh, HUL will see benefit across many categories. Uh, for example, cosmetics, ice cream, skin cream, even detergent to an extent. Uh, also, rural demand, if you see, monsoon finally ended quite uh, normal in spite of uh, one forecast saying it will be much below expectation. So, rural demand is quite, quite uh, strong uh, for FMTG in particular. Also, we have seen some of the raw materials come off. For example, T margins clearly will improve uh, for HUL and uh, the other T companies also. So, on the raw material side also, lot of the comfort uh, is there in terms of price hike. HUL has taken multiple price hikes in uh, soap and uh, even in detergent. So I would say HUL is well placed uh, from, from the second half uh, perspective and we would expect uh, volume growth uh, to remain strong because definitely last year, if you remember, HUL had uh, suffered one of the highest within people's uh, space because of confined living impacting multiple uh, segments. So we remain quite positive and uh, we would uh, recommend uh, investors to remain uh, invested in this stock from a medium long term perspective. Okay, and uh, Avnish, you know, just one more thing I wanted to understand in terms of margins. Yes, you did say that, you know, we are seeing some inflationary, uh, you know, the raw materials coming off, you know, they're not at, as high as they were before. But, uh, you know, could this mean that this slight bit pressure that what we're seeing could continue even in the next quarters? What is it looking like as of now to you? So, uh, three things. One, of course, is uh, now we will see the premium part of the portfolio do well. So, cosmetics, in cream, etc., are uh, good margin businesses. So that's one uh, good data point. Second, we have seen uh, even palm oil, if you see from peak, has seen some correction. You would also need to see rupee dollar equation here. Uh, but tea prices have already come off from peak by around 30%. Uh, so I would say that uh, HUL uh, is quite well placed uh, in the H2 versus, say, last year. From a margin perspective, I would say that. Uh, uh, reasonably, most of the uh, uh, issue in terms of margins is behind us. Uh, see, inflation is there for FMCG globally. It is at a 10-year high. Within India, the same thing applies. But definitely, uh, FMCG companies have high uh, pricing power and more so for HUL. So, I would say that uh, most of the concerns are behind. Yes, crude going up to $100, $110 will bring a fresh bout of inflation. But that will be for entire uh, economy, entire sector. So, this is not only for HUL. Okay, thank you so much, Abhinesh, as well as Naveen, for giving us an insight on uh, HL earnings. HL earnings, as of now, seem to be slight bit uh, better and largely in line and slight bit better than what we were expecting as well. Uh, so keep an eye out on HL. They'll be having the press conference soon. But with that, uh, we'll end uh, this edition of the newsroom on ET Now. Thank you so much for tuning in to ET Now from me, Vinny Motiwala, as well as the team who put this show together. Thank you.